Now at 4.30, a tragic car wreck in Rialto leaves a family devastated. Two children killed in a hit and run crash involving a suspected drunk driver. That children's father was also hurt. KTLA 5, Shelby Nelson is live in Rialto with the latest on this heartbreaking story. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Sandy and Sam. Yeah, this really is a tragic event, and it's a reminder of what can happen when someone gets behind the wheel while they are under the influence. There's really no words. These two poor girls under five years old, both sisters, were killed and their family members' lives changed forever. Now, throughout the day, we saw family members coming out here and putting out candles and flowers at that memorial that you see right across the street. We also saw their mom out here, and what struck me was that, you know, she still seems like she's in shock. She was kind of observing the intersection in tears at some points, but looking at, you know, the shattered glass in the street still, and I don't think you could put into words what she's feeling right now. We were going to have things to get me together. Rather than a joyful Thanksgiving, it will be filled with grief. Lisa Aviles and her family now mourning the deaths of three-year-old Alina. She was the most happiest, joyful baby in the world. And four-year-old Nevea Flores. Her sister was the protector over Alina. The two sisters were tragically killed by a suspected drunk driver Sunday night. I'm lost for words. We just had him two weeks ago. I just went out and bought Christmas clothes for them. Both were in their car seats in the back. Sky 5 shows the damage to the mangled car they were in. Police say they responded to a crash just after 11 p.m. at the intersection of Walnut and Riverside Avenues in Rialto. Family tells KTLA the girl's mom was driving a white Honda Accord. Their dad was in the passenger seat. They were traveling northbound on Riverside, and as they were turning left onto Walnut, they were T-boned by a speeding driver in a blue Dodge Ram. The Dodge Ram ran a red light while traveling southbound on Riverside. That driver identified as 28-year-old Alexis Garcia of San Bernardino, allegedly tried getting away, but didn't get very far. The vehicle ultimately became disabled in the middle of the roadway. Officers say the impact caused the family's car to also hit a tow truck, but that driver was okay. The girl's mother, Valencia, returned to the intersection to place flowers at a growing memorial, many others hugging and consoling her. As for their father, family tells us he's undergoing surgery. I'm angry. I'm angry. People do not need to be driving drunk. How many fatalities is it going to take? He just took two innocent children's lives. He don't deserve to be out in this free world. Now, at last check, Garcia was still in the hospital. Police say once he is out, he will be booked into the West Valley Detention Center and charged with two counts of murder, one charge of felony hit and run, and also for uh, driving under the influence. As for the family, we're told that they're going to be having a memorial here at 6 o'clock for a vigil. Uh, and as you can see behind me, there have been those flowers and balloons placed, so they'll be out here in just a few hours. Reporting live from Rialto, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.